This example will show how to generate solid objects from planar area objects. We will start with a single area object. A right click shows that the section is a thin shell property. First, we will extrude this element into a single solid object. This extrusion will be normal to the face of the area object in the positive 3 direction and it will be 24 inches thick. We will delete the source object, meaning we will remove the area object from the model. Once the solid object has been generated, we have the option to remesh using the Mesh Solids command. Here we will split the object into 12 elements. Next we will extrude the area object into multiple solid objects. Again the extrusion will be normal to the area surface, but we will generate four elements in both the plus and negative three directions. for a total of eight objects. We may also extrude using a user-defined option, whereby the extrusion does not need to be normal to the surface area. Here we will set dy equal to 144 and dz equal to 144 to generate an extrusion on a 45 degree angle. Extrusions may also be done in a radial manner. Here we will rotate about the z-axis with each object representing a 10 degree increment with a total of 9 solid objects or 90 degrees. We get a clearer view if we turn the fill option off. SAP 2000 also offers the ability to directly convert an area object into a solid object. The area object currently has an assigned thickness of 1 inch. We will change this to 24 inches so that the thickness will be more appropriate for a solid object. Next, select the Convert Areas to Solids command. and the program converts the single 24 inch thick planar area object into two 12 inch thick 3D solid objects centered on the location of the original area object. This concludes this tutorial.